Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo and today we're going to see what's going to be the best stocks for this week. Actually, we're going to only refer one. Uh, the others are monthly, which I already mentioned on my uh, previous videos where you can uh, check that. We're going to see what's going to happen with the market for this week and also the, the Bitcoin and uh, my portfolio performance. So stay around. Before we start the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Only 6.2% of my viewers are subscribers, so don't forget to smash that button. So let's get back to the video. So you're going to start this week with the ticker SU, uh, Suncor Energy Inc. This is the only ticker that we're going to have for this week that pays quarterly. All the others uh, that I've seen, they don't pay uh, quarterly. They only pay once per, per year. They have uh, high dividend yields like uh, uh, Petrobras, uh, which is one of the Brazilian petroleum companies. They pay a high dividend yield and they only pay once per year. So that's why I didn't include it here, but you can have a look in, into that company, uh, which uh, it's a bit risk to, to invest on that. But anyway, this one, they pay quarterly, March, June, September, December. They are undervaluing 64.1%. The ex dividend date is on the, se uh, on the 2nd of December. So we're going to have time. We still have the three days that Itoro needs for us to uh, buy the stock. And the financial health is a B, but it's kind of a B over or a G in terms of assets they have around 10 billion and in terms of liabilities around 11 billion uh, not even reached the 11 billion uh, so they are quite uh, in between they are quite balanced in terms of assets and liabilities more investigation needs to be done in terms of cash flow that they have but I think the, the in terms of financial health they are not bad as uh, as it looks like uh, the market sentiment, we have a buy, and the future growth, we have around 15.5%. Actually, this stock it could be a good mix to get with other stocks like uh, BPL or uh, Chevron, uh, which pays in different months, so we can combine those and mix and try to receive every, every single month uh, uh, some dividends, and this is, could be one of those that we could mix with one of uh, those two that I already mentioned. They went down quite a lot. Uh, we had a, a big crash on the market. Not a crash, a correction, but, uh, well, depends. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, a crash is more than 20%. We didn't have that. We have a correction in the market around almost 5%. And uh, petroleum or uh, everything that is related to uh, oil uh, and, um, and gas got affected. And this one got affected as well the energy sector uh, have a big impact during this week so in my opinion this could be two things a growth stock and also a dividend stock that pays 5.9 percent so in my opinion it could be a good stock to buy today other stocks that we're going to have for this week but they pay monthly which is epr properties and agnc investment corp which uh, i have on my portfolio not the epr the, but the agnc uh, which has a, a high dividend yield of 8.98%. It's one of my highest dividend payers on my portfolio. So yeah. now let's have a look into the markets and the, the Bitcoin. So as you can see, the SP500, we may see a fall in upcoming week uh, with around minus 2.05%. Uh, the market is uh, under pressure at the moment. We have some short positions below the 4,663 uh, points. Uh, which was our uh, last uh, support and now we went down quite a lot during this week that they still continue to um, go down due to the the bsr we still are uh, buying the the relative strength index is showing us that we are below the 40 and we are oversold um, meaning that we we may see a rise or a shift from the bearish market to a bullish market in upcoming weeks but not at this time we're still here trying to consolidate and probably we're going for the next support around the 4,552 uh, with a possible extension for the 4,500 but this is quite uh, a, a long shot i do believe that we're going to uh, be around this values consolidate this area around here the support and probably go uh, up since uh, the the um, the relative strength index is showing us that we are um, oversold so uh, this usually um, in the next upcoming weeks we may see a rise on the stocks but not for now although we are still below the moving average but since the months of november and december are not quite good for the stock market we may see a down for the for the next upcoming week so i don't consider this uh, being a shift 
for the next week, probably the the week after, uh, before before Christmas, uh, the week before Christmas, uh, we may see increase, but uh, there's something that we need to uh, be careful and have money in balance so we can do some average, the same thing that I've done this week, which you may see more towards at the end of the video. In terms of the Bitcoin, we may rouse around 2,000 to 2,900 pips. Um, we may see a rise on the upcoming weeks. We are seeing here the RSI, the, the relative strength, is um, a, a little bit above the the 50 telling us that uh, we are uh, we are overbought it's overbought so we may see a decline in the next upcoming week so probably we're going to stay around those levels for the next uh, upcoming week although uh, the upside prevails uh, we have a big support here at the 43570 as a support we're going to stay around those values i doubt it that we're going to stay below the 51,940 i think we are going to still consolidate on the 54,000 um, uh, average the macd uh, is positive and above the signal line uh, the configuration is positive uh, moreover the the price is trading above both uh, 20 to 50 periods moving average um, between the 54,503 to the uh, 54,441, which is uh, the values around uh, this area. If you want to copy all my open trades, you can do it by go to eToro and uh, search by Kenite, where you can uh, copy all my open trades, which is the, the thing that I recommend, so you can get the best for your investments. Bear in mind that now we have the worst time in the market, so it's a good uh, chance you can get some uh, stocks in the, in the deep, which uh, will going to be uh, increasing in an, on the next upcoming weeks. So that's going to be the best investment now is to get in now, if you want to uh, copy all the uh, trades that I have. So in terms of the portfolio performance, so we had the market with a decrease of 2.7% and uh, my portfolio went down around 2.9%. This is due to the UK market went down quite a lot of around 3.65% that I'm going to mention in a few moments. The only top gainers that we had this week was Pfizer with a 6.12% of increase. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, this uh, was small impact in my portfolio. We had uh, most of the, the stocks went down a lot during this week. Uh, ADA and the Bitcoin went up around 1.6% and 1.48%, but they went down uh, the last uh, week uh, around almost uh, 10 percent and uh, the, this small increase was nothing uh, for what we've lost in the past week so the top losers we have international consolidated airlines and bear in mind that uh, every single company or airline company had a big impact because of covid uh, uh, there was lots of uh, flights that were cancelled to africa meaning that uh, uh, all the airline companies got affected and they went down quite a lot and this is one of those that went down quite a lot. And I did mention this on the eToro, uh, one of my tweets you can uh, have uh, you can have a look. British Petroleum went down 6.13% uh, and this is due to the decline that we had during this week. PFG, Principal Financial Group with a decrease of 4.08%, Realm with a decrease of 4.03% and the British uh, Index went down uh, in the overall of around 3.65%, so went down more than the US market. That's why my uh, portfolio got affected as well, because my portfolio in terms of uh, British uh, stocks have around uh, 3 to 5% uh, uh, of exposure. Mm -hmm. Other performance indicators and actions, we have payments of uh, energy transfer. We have Realm, QILD, AMZA, and the ETF SPHD, um, which we acquired the last week. New acquisitions, we didn't have none. We have open orders uh, of AT&T and Activision. Uh, I'm hoping the Activision probably next week uh, will uh, will get in. Uh, let's see. And we have uh, closing orders. We didn't have uh, any close orders. We have done average on uh, Alibaba with a ticker 9988HQ. And uh, we have done some average as well on SPHD, R, and Disney. In terms of the top payers, is still AMCA, the top dividend yield is still QILD with 11.8%, and the portfolio is still undervalued at 46%, and the future growth with around 8%. So, of course, this has an increase here because um, 
the stocks went down. So uh, for that reason, we have more uh, growth projection. In terms of good decisions, we have one and bad decisions, we have two. The good decisions was SPHD. When I bought, they went up around 0.05%. is not much. Uh, and the bad decision was Disney and R, which went down uh, around 0.05 and, and 0.15%, which is nothing. And I do think when the market open this Monday, we'll have uh, uh, those stocks uh, positive. So looking to the spreadsheet, we have here the payment of AMZA. We have here the payment of ET. We have here the payments of QILD, uh, SPHD, and also we have Realm, um, which was already paid, but uh, here was a, um, another payment uh, that uh, wasn't done uh, last week. And our uh, portfolio in terms of balance, uh, we have around 2.3%. UK stocks, we have around 9.1%, actually. Uh, it's more than I, I thought. Um, um, we have ETFs around 22.7%, 4.5% in terms of crypto, and US stocks around 46%, and uh, Chinese stocks around 4.5%. This is in terms of portfolio diversification. In terms of portfolio strategy, we have more than 74% of my portfolio. It's dividend and 25% are growing stocks. Hi guys, I hope you enjoy uh, this tips for this week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like. This is going to help me for the algorithm. I want to reach the 1000 subscribers, which is uh, it's a daunting task. Um, but um, anyway, I'm hoping you do enjoy it and see you next week. Cheers.